What up, y'all? It's your man, Earl. It's Friday, June 10th. Right eye, bushy tail. Back at you. Good time, Chicago land. We uh, out running Aaron CEO. And I want to get this to you because I see and hear a lot of people asking me about stress, stress level. People are, are, are incredibly under stress now, especially with what's going on around the country and even what's going around locally. I mean, whatever, wherever you live at, I'm sure you're being affected somehow by the alleged uh, pandemic, scamdemic, all this information that's being constantly pumped to you, at you. So I want to get this to you. You need to avoid... Uh, the failure mentality. I say that very precisely because we talk about failure, success, achievement. We talk about process. We talk about a lot of different things. Last two days we were talking about pivoting. And it is key because if you don't know yourself, and you don't define success, what will happen is over a period of time you will develop what is called in psychology as well as in business personal coaching mentoring a failure mentality okay and and here's here's how you get the failure mentality because you never have sat down got a pen and piece of paper out and you have never defined what success is to you not what other people tell you you need to be doing you need to define what success is to you. And so you could be 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old. I even see 50 year olds running around acting like high school kids. Why? Because they have not defined what success is. And you can tell where a person is mentally based upon what they do, especially now with what they do. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple quick tips here about and why you need to avoid failure. Okay, I've already given you the first tip. You want to avoid the failure mentality? Notice, I didn't say avoid failure because failure is a part of life. But what you do with failure, what you learn from it is all up to you. The reason why you need to define success is so you don't by this idea that you are a failure. Okay? If you don't know what success is to you, then every time you wake up and do something, plan for something, get into a tight situation, the Most High God opens up an opportunity for you, and because you haven't figured out what success means to you, then guess what? You do something stupid. I use the word very precisely. You do something stupid, stupid, S-T-U-P-I-D, stupid, and you sabotage your own success. Why? Because you've never defined what success means to you. Why? Because you have this mentality that everything I do turns out bad. People are my enemies, so you do dumb stuff. Therefore, why? Because you have a failure mentality. Nothing works out. Why? Because you never defined you've never defined what working out looks like to you. So that's why you have this this poor failure mentality. Okay? Second reason why you need to not have a failure mentality because your body is very scientific. I don't want to go too deep, but this is important, especially in this economy, in this season in life. Okay, when you when you are under stress, when you are under constant stressful situations, your body produces what's called cortisol. Okay, and what that cortisol does is it produces something in the body where certain things are shut down and other things are opened up. AKA the easiest way to describe this is the fight and flight hormone. The fight and flight hormone, fight and flight mechanism is produced by the body's output of cortisol. 
But here's what's interesting about cortisol. Cortisol does something in the brain as well. Okay, it produces a feeling of not being safe. Some scientists even say it produces an idea of not being wanted. Why? Because it's designed to either make you fight or flight. And if you're not feeling safe in a certain place, if you don't feel wanted in a certain place, you will get out of there. Sidebar, this is why some people leave you. Because they themselves are perceiving that what's going on around them is not successful. This is why you have to define what success is. Because your mind will play tricks on you. Okay, remember, your mind does not want to go through anything that's tough. Your mind does not want you to have to go through any kind of process. Your mind wants everything easy. That's why you got to take control of your mind. That's why you got to take control of your thought process. You must take care. You must take control of your thought process. You can't blame it on anybody else. Okay, this is why some guys have it, some guys don't. Some women have it, some women don't. Why? Because they don't they don't learn these things that I'm talking about. So cortisol produces fight and flight. It produces the level of uh, I'm not comfortable. I'm not wanted here. And this is why some people leave prematurely because they've never defined what success is for themselves. So they leave. That's why you can't get mad at people who all of a sudden are one way today and then by the end of today are something that is stressful. I use that word very loosely or process oriented. I like that better. And then they can't handle the process. Why? Never define what success is. See, when you define where you want to go, then you're able to handle the process to get there. But if if your life has been willy-nilly, you're 35, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 55. If you're in that age called Generation X and you're still bouncing around, haven't defined what success is, I'm not surprised. When you leave, when you push eject. Why? Nothing to do with me. You don't know what success is for your own self. You don't know what the process is. So I'm trying to help you today understand that when you become of age, take the time to define what success is. And so when you know what success is, you can understand that it's a process to get to wherever you want to get to. And you don't sabotage your own self with your own failure mentality. Don't get angry at other people. Matter of fact, forgive them. Because they have no idea where they want to go. They want to drag you right along down with them. All right? So number one, understand that the failure mentality kicks in when you have not defined success and you keep starting stuff, stopping stuff, starting stuff, stopping stuff, starting stuff, stopping stuff. So every, over a period of time, you have a mentality of failure that is homegrown. The second thing about having a failure mentality is your body gets used to living under and in stress and produces cortisol, which will ultimately harm you. High blood pressure, poor brain function. Get that chubby, fatty face. You get the, the, the lower pot belly starts to kick on. Liver and kidney issues. I mean, all these things. So avoid the failure mentality by starting out by defining what success is. And if you are a child of the Most High God, success starts with knowing Him. Who's the Him? The Most High God. Achievement, success, prosperity, wealth, all begin with a relationship with the Most High God. Then start reading self-help books. And I challenge you, find somebody who you can relate to and develop a relationship with them. 
Don't always look for the easy way out. The road to success, achievement, wealth, prosperity is not easy. Avoid the failure mentality. This is your man Earl. God bless you. God keep your day 192, Friday, July 10th, back from Chicagoland. Back at it, y'all. God bless you. God keep you. Peace.